Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Jay, piloting the partner pair of Rograx, Son of Roga, and Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. This is a fast combo deck that looks to cast an early ad nauseum to help assemble Underworld Breach or Thassa's Oracle. Jay's opening hand contains a Morphic Pool, Praetor's Grasp, Ad Nauseum, Simeon Spirit Guide, Dark Ritual, Mental Misstep, and his London Mulligan is a Repeal. Next, we have Alan, piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Keen Eyed Navigator and Vile Smasher the Fierce. This is a Grixis combo deck that kills the table with Malcolm and Glenhorn Buccaneer. Alan's opening hand contains a Mox Diamond, Mana Crypt, Ride of Flame, Glenhorn Buccaneer, Bloodstained Mire, Exotic Orchard, and a Deflecting Swat. After that, we have Kyle, piloting Sidisi Brood Tyrant. This is a combo deck that uses Food Chain to generate infinite mana and then uses Sidisi to mill its library and reanimate Athos's Oracle. Kyle's opening hand contains a Finale of Devastation, Talisman of Curiosity, Rapid Hybridization, Demonic Tutor, Arbor Elf, Elves of Deep Shadow, and a Flooded Strand. Finally, we have Kevin, piloting Najila the Blade Blossom. This is a 5-color deck that looks to cast Najila early and then combo her with the Revy Imperial Tactician. Kevin's opening hand contains a Dranith Magistrate, Windswept Heath, Fierce Guardianship, Abrupt Decay, Misty Rainforest, Elves of Deep Shadow, and a Deflecting Swat. Without further ado, let's kick off this audaciously arrogant arachnophobic auction. Jay wins the tumbling contest and gets to start us off. Jay draws a card for turn and plays a Morphic Pool. He casts a Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts Praetor's Grasp, targeting Alan. He fetches up a card from Alan's library into exile face down. He casts his commander, Rograx, son of Rogah. He passes. Alan draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding a Bloodstained Mire. He ships the turn. Kyle draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Elves of Deep Shadow. He ends his turn. Kevin draws and plays a Windswept Heath. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He also casts an Elves of Deep Shadow. He gives the turn to Jay. Jay draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. With no other plays, he passes. Turn his upkeep, Alan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Glenhorn Buccaneer. In response, Kevin casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Glenhorn. In response, Alan casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, changing the target of Force of Will to Swat itself. Force fizzles, and with no other interaction, Glenhorn resolves. Alan moves to combat and attacks Kyle with Malcolm and Jay with Glenhorn. Jay blocks with Rograk and Kyle takes it. Malcolm triggers, creating a treasure. Still in combat, Alan activates Glenhorn, discarding the card and dealing one damage to each opponent and then drawing. Malcolm triggers, creating three treasures. He demonstrates a loop by activating Glenhorn, generating treasures, pinging the table to death, and Alan wins the game. In this game, Jay's opening hand contains a Swan Song, Deflecting Swat, Jessica's Will, Flusterstorm, Concerted Defense, Mystic Remora, and a City of Brass. Alan's opening hand contains a Time Twister, Deflecting Swat, Shiv and Reef, Mana Crypt, Bloodstained Mire, Gamble, and a Windfall. Kyle's opening hand contains a Mystic Remora, Tainted Pact, Collector Oof, Eternal Scourge, Dread Return, Morphic Pool, and his Lenin Mulligan is an Arcane Signet. Kevin's opening hand contains a Dranith Magistrate, 
Fayu, Lotus Petal, Derevi Imperial Tactician, Tinderwall, Grand Abolisher, and a Worldly Tutor. And Jay gets to start us off. Jay draws a card for turn and casts his commander, Rograk, son of Rogah. He plays a City of Brass for turn. He taps it to help cast Mystic Remora. He passes. Alan draws and plays a Shivan Reef. He casts a Mana Crypt. Mystic Remora triggers and Jay draws. He taps Shivan Reef to help cast his commander, Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator. He gives the turn to Kyle. Kyle draws and plays a Morphic Pool. Envious of Jay's Mystic Remora, he casts his own Mystic Remora. Remora triggers and Jay draws. Kyle ships the turn. Kevin draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts a Tender Wall. He casts a Lotus Petal. Jay and Kyle draw through Remora and Kevin passes to Jay. During his upkeep, Jay taps the City of Brass to help pay for his Remora. He draws and casts a Mox Amber. Remora triggers and Kyle draws. Jay pays two life to cast a Taxian Probe targeting Alan. Remora triggers and Kyle draws again. He looks at Alan's hand and draws a card. He casts Strike It Rich, letting Kyle draw. Strike It Rich resolves and Jay creates a treasure. He passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Alan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He taps Shivan Reef to help cast Gamble. Both Remora's trigger and Kyle and Jay draw. Then Alan fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards Ad Nauseam, which is what he tutored for. A bit dejected, he falls up by casting a Windfall. Kyle and Jay draw, and in response, Kevin casts Worldly Tutor. Remora's trigger and Kyle and Jay draw again. In response, Jay casts Flusterstorm with two copies targeting Worldly Tutor and the rest at Windfall. Remora triggers and Kyle draws. In response, Kevin sacrifices Tenderwall, adding two red, and pays for both Flusterstorms. Still in response to Flusterstorm, Alan casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost targeting Flusterstorm. Remora triggers and Kyle and Jay draw. Deflecting Swat resolves and Alan changes the target of one Flusterstorm from Windfall to the other Flusterstorm. In response, Jay casts his own Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Flusterstorm. Remora triggers and Kyle draws again. Swat resolves and Jay changes the target of Flusterstorm back to Windfall. Flusterstorm finally resolves, countering Windfall. Worldly Tutor then resolves and Kevin fetches up a Doxide Extortionist onto the top of his library. Alan moves to combat and attacks Kyle with Malcolm. Kyle takes the hit, Malcolm triggers, and Alan creates a treasure. With his plans foiled, Alan ships the turn. During his upkeep, Kyle pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps it to help cast Deathrite Shaman. He passes, discarding the hand size, which includes a Dread Return, and the table starts to worry. Kevin draws and plays a Bayou. He casts Doxide Extortionist. In response, Alan cracks a treasure. Doxide resolves and Kevin creates four treasures. He casts his commander, Najila the Blade Blossom. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Jay lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts Rite of Flame, letting Kyle draw. Rite resolves and Jay adds two red. He taps the City of Brass to help cast Jessica's Will, choosing both modes, targeting Kyle. Remora triggers and Kyle draws. Jessica's Will resolves, Jay adds nine red and then exiles Dark Slick Shores, an offer you can't refuse, and a Windfall. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Windfall. Remora triggers and Kyle chooses not to draw. Windfall resolves and each player discards their hand and draws nine cards. Jay casts a Mox Diamond and Kyle draws through Remora. Mox Diamond resolves and Jay discards a Blood Crypt. He casts Mana Vault and Kyle draws again. He casts Dockside Extortionist. Dockside resolves and Jay creates three treasures. He casts Final Fortune and Kyle draws again. He casts a Wheel of Misfortune, letting Kyle draw. Wheel resolves, Jay chooses 20, Alan chooses 10, Kyle chooses 14, and Kevin chooses 0. Jay takes 20 damage, then Jay, Alan, and Kyle each discard their hand and draw 7. Jay casts a Lotus Petal and Kyle draws. He casts a Praetor's Grasp targeting Kevin. Remora triggers and Kyle draws again. In response, Kevin casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Praetor's Grasp. Kyle draws again, then Flusterstorm resolves, countering Praetor's Grasp. Next, Jay casts Imperial Seal, letting Kyle draw. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses 2 life. He casts a Guild Artisan and Kyle draws. Jay moves to combat, attacking Kyle with Rograk. Guild Artisan triggers and Jay creates two treasures. With nothing else, Jay passes the turn to, well, himself. During his draw step, Jay takes a damage from his Mana Ball. He moves to combat and attacks Kyle with Rograk. Guild Artisan triggers and Jay creates two treasures. In his second main phase, he casts Mnemonic Betrayal. Remora triggers and Kyle draws. Mnemonic Betrayal resolves, exiling each opponent's graveyards. He taps his Mana Confluence and his City of Brass to help cast Grand Abolisher from Exile. He casts Mox Diamond from Exile, discarding his Steam Vents, and Kyle draws through Remora. He casts Dark Ritual from Exile, letting Kyle draw. He adds three black. He casts Demonic Tutor from Exile, and Kyle draws again. He fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Underworld Breach, and Kyle draws. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond, and Kyle draws again. He sacrifices his LED, discards his hand, and adds three blue. He escapes Brain Freeze with all copies targeting himself. Kyle draws through Remora, and then Brain Freeze resolves. Jay mills 24 cards. He casts Lotus Petal from Exile. He escapes LED. He escapes Brain Freeze with all copies targeting himself again, milling the rest of his library. He escapes Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and Jay wins the game.
Ladies and gentlemen, what an action-packed series of games tonight. Congrats to Alan and Jay on their wins. In Game 1, Alan kept a quick Turn 2 win with protection and the table couldn't stop him. In Game 2, Alan again went for a Turn 2 win with Ad Nauseam and Windfall, but was stopped by his own gamble and Jay's Flusterstorm. Jay was then able to take the win after drawing a ton thanks to Remora, even through Kyle's Remora. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Flusterstorm. Because it creates multiple copies of itself, it is very difficult to counter back without one's own Flusterstorm. It prevented Alan from going off with Windfall and forced Kevin to sacrifice Tinderwall to keep his worldly tutor. It is one of the best counter spells in the format for this reason. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.